All right, five minutes after 9 o'clock, it is time for Veterans News. Hank Whittier is here from Vets Helping Vets. Good morning, Hank. I am here today. Uh, you know, what is this funny thing sitting in front of me? Is this how, what you talk into? <laughs> and so, <laughs> You're not familiar with it? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since I've been up here. It's been, it seems every Thursday I've had some sort of meeting, but uh, it pays off because, you know, we've been doing a lot of work with the Veterans Resource Building, but it's all coming about pretty soon. Uh, we're going to have a soft opening November the 11th. We'll dedicate a plaque. Uh, to, to the veterans of Marion County on behalf of Vets Helping Vets and the county commissioners. And so we're nearly there. And then sometime after the first of the year, early after the first of the year, we should be open for business. Unfortunately, today we do have casualties. I wish we didn't, but we do have casualties today. So, Gary, why don't you have a police officer casualty, I believe? Yes, sir, I do. I have correctional officer Kenneth Bettis of the Alabama Department of Corrections in Alabama. His end of watch was Friday, September the 16th. Officer uh, Bettis succumbed to stab wounds sustained on September 1st at the William C. Coleman Correctional Facility in Atmore, Alabama. Officer Bettis was a combat veteran of the Alabama Army National Guard. Uh, Scott Young is here to help us out with some casualties. Scott, I think you've got two police officers, yes, I believe. I do, uh, police officer Robert Aaron Baker from the McCrory Police Department in Arkansas. End of watch on Thursday, September 15th, 2016. Police officer Robert Barker was killed in a vehicle crash. 26 years old. Very sad. Uh, another one, Sergeant Kenneth Steele, Detroit Police Department, Michigan. End of watch on Saturday, September 17th. Sergeant Kenneth Stell succumbed to a gunshot wounds sustained on September 12th. He is survived by his wife and two young sons, age 46. Very good. I've got one police officer, uh, Jason Gallarero, the Cook County Sheriff's Department, uh, Cook County, Illinois. Died while on duty. Uh, he was 45 years old with 22 years of service. Have a few military as well. We have a warrant officer, Travis Tamaro, 32, from Brownsville, Texas. Died uh, in uh, Afghanistan, United Arab Emirates. And also, let me just mention locally, uh, Jeremy Nabrozny, uh, 35. He's the young man that committed suicide in the parking lot oh, wow. at the, at the uh, Veterans Park. Uh, Gary, you have anybody else? Uh, no, that's it. Okay, part. so that's our casualty list for this morning. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I want to just kind of amplify uh, about this young man that took his life, uh, Jeremy Nabrosny, uh, U.S. Army veteran, uh, apparently served several years honorably. Uh, you know, suicide's a big problem amongst the veterans. Yeah. Uh, it, it has been and probably will be. The VA has done a pretty good job of uh, addressing it, I think, the local agencies here. But when we found out about it, um, we checked uh, our own records to make, see if he had come in to us for help. He had not. Uh, the county service officer didn't know him, uh, and I talked to the VA. He was not registered with the VA here locally either. So, 
you know, sometimes they, had he reached out, I'm sure everybody would have tried to help him. It's right. a sad situation, right. but he didn't. And I understand it was sort of domestic issues that he was having. So it's a sad case. But, uh, for, you know, th there's help out there for people. And, you know, we ne you need to reach out if you're feeling that way, you're having problems, whether it's financial or emotional or you're depressed. There's, there's folks willing to step in and give you a hand and, and help you out of your situation. And the VA has done a good job in terms of that here locally, particularly. And we're here, and there's a lot of veterans groups here. And if you're not a veteran, there's still a lot of help out there. So don't try to deal with it yourself. Try to try to get some help. Scott, glad you're here. Glad to be here. Uh, we talked about that this morning. We get to our age, we're glad to be yeah, on, on right. this side. It's good thing yeah. we woke yeah. up today. That's right. <laughs> And we look so good, too. Absolutely. <laughs> Listen, uh, I know we're coming into um, that time of year where it's open enrollment. Scott's uh, Scott Young Insurance. We uh, send a lot of veterans to them, not just for business in terms of us, but because I know they're going to get straight answers. And whether you deal with them or you refer them someplace else, I, pre I, I should have told you this a long time ago, and you, you help one of my friends. Uh, I, I think afterwards you needed uh, some refreshments but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he's difficult to deal with but um, you know people need they need honest answers and and information that's straight from the shoulder and not trying to sell them a product and Scott has always done that for us and we appreciate that so we're getting into open enrollment time we are Hank uh, open enrollment comes October 15th through December 7th anybody can look at the different plan options that are coming out for next year and you need to look at them if you already have a plan you want to look at the benefits make make sure they still suit your needs uh, that there's changes every year uh, and there's different options every year so it's worth taking a look at what I do I'm an independent licensed independent insurance agent a broker for many different companies and I can show you all your options and help you decide which one is best for you uh, again we've got that short window October 15th through December 7th when you can change your plan and roll in a new plan unless you receive some type of extra help from the government uh, for for paying your Part B premium or for the cost of your prescriptions uh, then you, your open enrollment uh, could be all year round but it's something you really need to look at. It's very important, and you want to make sure you're in the right plan. Okay. Listen, we're going to get back to you. We're going to be talking a little bit about Bob Wines, but I think Larry probably wants to take a short break. Right, Larry? Yep, we'll take that break we'll take right a now. short break now. We'll come back, talk a little bit about Bob Wines and why this makes this all possible for us. Very good. We'll be right back. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. On this Thursday, times of clouds and sun with a thunderstorm around during the afternoon and evening hours. The high today, 88 to 92. Partly cloudy later Thursday night, low 70 to 74. Friday and Saturday, intervals of clouds and sun with a thunderstorm around each afternoon. The high both days between 88 and 92. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. <laughs> Hey, this is Dan. Let me ask you a few questions. Does your boat look better with the cover on? Has your car's interior seen its better days? Stop using a towel to cover up those rips in the golf cart. Isn't it about time you had it restored to better than new with a custom upholstery from Captain T? Captain T's upholstery has been right here in Ocala for nearly 20 years, so they know how to make your ride one of a kind. Whether you want to take that classic ride back to a factory look or put your favorite sports team front and center, Captain T's upholstery is who to call. 352-369-1810. That's 352-369-1810 or stop by their location, 5030 South Pine Avenue in Ocala, just past the drive-in. And of course, don't forget to visit them on the web, CaptainTUpholstery.com. The very best in quality is Captain T's Upholstery. 
Looking to put your money to work? Florida Credit Union has a CD special 25 months for 1.41% APY with a 10000 minimum. Federally insured by the NCUA, a government agency, these rates effective through September 30th. Subject to change at any time. Visit one of Florida Credit Union's convenient locations today or their website, flcu.org, or call 352-237-8222. Don't miss this 25-month CD special. Again, the APY is 1.41%. Act now. Stay informed on everything going on in the villages with the Village Spectator newspaper. The Village Spectator is exclusively devoted to the villages with news, commentary, and more. And yes, they have Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. Tom's Picks will refer the company that fits your needs, and all we ask is that you tell them where you heard about them. Call Tom's Picks at 804-1223 and pick up your copy of the Village Spectator today. Now read Ocala Downtown Newspaper Online. There's a car accident in this country every five seconds. That's why Allstate thinks it's time for an entirely different kind of car insurance with features like accident forgiveness and a safe driving bonus. It's called Your Choice Auto, and it's only from Allstate. Are you in good hands? You deserve better. Sign up for Your Choice Auto from Allstate. Call the McDonald Agency today at 622-2333. Features are optional and subject to terms, conditions, and availability. Allstate Insurance, Northbrook, Illinois. All right, 16 minutes after 9 o'clock, 75 degrees, first day of autumn, by the way. Let's return to Veterans News with Hank Whittier. Uh, th- uh, listen, I'm looking forward to some cooler weather. It's getting a tiny bit, slightly cooler, especially the mornings, but I think Larry Morning, and I, morning, I, look, mind I like the 60s and 70s, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, yeah, that were good decades, right? Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah well, they, well, actually, Larry, I go a little further back. <laughs> the 40s, the, the 50s weren't bad. <laughs> You know, at the hop. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, listen, we do, uh, you know, Bob Wines has been with us for a while. Really great people selling, you know, shrubbery and plants and trees and good good folks who take care of the veterans. And uh, great, great uh, you know, if you get a green thumb, if you don't have a green thumb, that's the place to go. I don't have a green thumb and neither does my wife. And they, all the stuff I bought from them is still around. So that's a good endorsement, I would think. But uh, you want to talk a little bit more about it there, Gary? Yeah, you can uh, find Bob Wines at uh, 2610 Southeast 38th Street in beautiful Ocala. And if it wasn't for them, uh, you know, we wouldn't be on the air. And, and also the great folks here at The Source, WOCA, who keep us on. And, you know, with Bob Wines, when it comes to your landscaping needs, Bob Wines has it. If they don't have it, you probably don't need it. They have everything from small plants, large trees, mulch, fertilizer, and just about anything else you would need for your garden. Bob Wines will deliver. If they plant trees, they'll guarantee their trees. They've been keeping things blooming in Ocala since 1952. And when you go in there, if you tell them you heard about them on WOCA and you show them you're a veteran, you get a 10% discount to boot. You can't beat a deal like that. No, good people. And you got the address and the phone number for them? Okay, the address again is 2610 Southeast 38th Street in Ocala. And you can contact them by phone at area code. 352 629 5766. When you go out there, take some time, look around. It's a huge operation. I mean, I didn't realize it was that big the first time I went out there, and you walk back there, and I, I don't know how many acres are back there, but there's a lot of shrubbery and a lot of plants, a lot of trees. I can't imagine you leaving there without needing something and buying something. No, and the camellias will be blooming soon. Very good. Excellent. There you go. All right, Scott. Um, this is, again, open enrollment is from October 15th to... December 7th. December 7th. And if you don't, and this is for Medicare. This is for Medicare Supplements options. for Medicare and all that. And Supplements, Advantage plans, prescription drug plans. Okay. What happens if you meet, you miss the open enrollment? Then you you wait another year until the next right. open so enrollment. So then you're Correct. possibly going in without insurance, possibly. Uh, either without it or in the wrong plan that's not going to suit your needs depending on Mm -hmm. your health, uh, the prescriptions you may be taking, uh, the doctors you want to see. A lot of variables there, but you you definitely want to take a look at your your options. How is Obamacare, uh, how is that affecting all of this? Is is there an impact on all of this from your perspective? Yes, there is a good question, Hank. Uh, 
I read an article just the other day. They're taking $716 billion away from Medicare <coughs> to pay for Obamacare. They're taking it away from the seniors to pay for the Obamacare. I don't agree with it. No, well, I it's don't agree with it either. And I, I had issues with it to begin with. I mean, uh, I was talking, my wife went to the doctor the other day, and he was talking about the impact on them. And actually, he was saying 217 is going to be much worse in terms of the consequences of Obamacare than 216 was. And apparently, it gets worse because more money is taken out every e each year. Each year, they're yeah. taking a little more money. Yeah. They sure are. Well, maybe we'll make some changes here this election year. We'll see what happens. Hopefully. Hopefully. Um, tell us a little bit about the plans that are available and what, I mean, in general, I know we don't have a lot of time this morning. I'll get you back. But just what, you know, what some of the differences are, as you mentioned, advantage plans. And, and, and the reason I'm asking, and people, those of you who have insurance, and are like myself, you know about these programs, but I'm, I'm, I'm amazed at how many folks come to my office, and they may have the VA, but they're, they're, they're not, they haven't done uh, the work they need to do to get Medicare or supplements, and and I'm you know right sort of yeah, sort of sitting there without gr coverage that they I think they need. They need, and they can have it. And for starters, Medicare plans do not interfere with your VA benefits. They're totally separate. You can use the VA for your benefits, or you can <coughs> use the outside doctors. Some of these plans, they have no premiums. You you don't pay a premium for it, and there are no deductibles on the plan. You just have a copay as you use the plan. If you don't use it, it doesn't cost you anything. And it gives you additional benefits that original Medicare does not. Uh, some plans come with limited dental benefits. Uh, you get some vision benefits and some hearing benefits that that are not covered anywhere else. And those are free benefits for you within the plans. They, they don't cost you anything. Uh, there's no reason why you shouldn't take a look at these options. You get preventive services free. Uh, and again, I can't stress enough, you're not paying a premium for this plan. Mm -hmm. uh, you still have to pay your Part B premium for Medicare, but you do not pay any extra for these plans and they provide additional benefits that you wouldn't have otherwise. And it gives you other options. You see a lot of things and I get a lot of material in about, <clears throat> you know, you're going to get X number of dollars back, that kind of thing. Yes. <clears throat> what, what are the, what's that all about? There's plans, they're <coughs> called chronic condition plans. If you have cardiovascular disease, congestive heart failure, uh, COPD or diabetes, you can join plans that will pay a portion of your Part B premium back to you. So they actually give you money to join the plan. And again, you don't have to use the plan if you don't if you choose not to. But there's just there's all kinds of benefits built in with with many different plans that that you need to take a look at and you need to know what's out there for you. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I told you know what I have, and I won't mention them on the air. Um, but again, I'm finding that uh, with that particular plan, there's a, you know you need a lot of pre-approval on some of the some of the places you yeah, go. Getting uh, and I understand again that's another impact of the whole Obama thing, is that um, because of the money is tighter, uh, that um, less stuff is covered, and they're, they're they're tighter in terms of giving you permission to get that treatment you might need. Is that pretty and much what's happening, or what you're seeing? Well, what I understand is Medicare is. Uh, Auditing the insurance companies and the services they they give to people, and they're they're a lot stricter on what they allow. Yeah. And it's not the insurance companies doing this; it's Medicare putting this on the insurance companies. That was pretty much what the this uh, it was an orthopedist, and that's pretty much what he was telling us yesterday. He says, and it, it's you know obviously he he sees the need for some treatment and he wants to give the patient, but he says it's much harder now to get that treatment because of the restrictions they're putting on them and the insurance the companies are uh, have the pressure on them and of course they're denying it and then you have to go back again and he's got yeah. the doctor your doctor has to do some additional work to get that treatment approved they do they make it harder on the doctors they've got to document more information <clears throat> and they want to know why it's medically necessary to have this procedure done and they're just making it harder on everybody Hank. Okay. 
So, if if it's open enrollment, <coughs> what what are the, the what are the criteria that those folks listening out there are getting? I guess getting ready to turn sixty five or are sixty five. Yeah, what, yep. about the, what do they need to be doing? And, and they what? need to be calling Scott Young. <laughs> Scott. <laughs> I can help them. I'll show them every option they got. Okay. Uh, my cell number, 352, I'm right here in Ocala, 427-0192. That was 352-427-0192. Write that down. Call me anytime. I answer my phone seven days a week. And, uh, you know, I can just help you over the phone. I can come to your home and visit you. I'm going to have uh, some time at a couple of different Walmart locations each week in, in town here. You can come meet me there, and I can, I can show you what's available. Uh, but it's something you really need to look at. No cost to you. Mm -hmm. Additional benefits. Scott, I run into some people that, you know, they, they've just turned 65, and... Uh, you know they're gonna they want to wait a couple years because they think they can't afford the um, the Medicare right now. Um, if if they do that, is there some kind of penalty or something? There is. There's a, a penalty if you're eligible for Part B, for example, when you turn 65. If you're eligible for it for each full year, you're eligible and do not take the Part B. You will pay a 10 percent penalty for the rest of your life for each year. So definitely be smart to get it while you can. That, that's right. You, you, you really need to. And the Part B, if you're new to Medicare this year, your Part B premium is going to cost one twenty one eighty a month. But the benefits it offers you, it, the different advantage plans that, that they offer don't cost you any more. You will still always pay that Part B premium, but it's fantastic coverage. Quite often... Uh, much less expensive than, than what you had as an individual or through an employer in years past. You'd, a lot of people are very surprised when they realize they, they get a little scared when they when they hear the word Medicare, but the benefits are good if you, if you look at what's available to you. Everybody qualify for an Advantage plan? Is that, uh, yes. All I mean, once you turn that age, you all, Every, regardless you, of income, regardless of circumstances, health, for instance? Correct. The, the qualifications is you you have to live in the planned service area. You have to have your Medicare A and B, and you cannot have ESRD, end-stage renal disease. They have a special program for those folks. But other than that, there there's no qualification, no medical questions asked. Everyone, it's available to everybody. No, but it, the, the renal disease issue, then it, there is something available for them if they have kidney disease? and, and Yes, there is. That comes directly from Medicare, and it's a little bit different. Insurance agents don't get involved in that type of coverage, okay. but there is help for those people, yes. Okay. You know, there's a lot, and again, I, I bring you on. Not, 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 you, you've never pushed us to send people to you or... Uh, because you're you're full of information, basically, is what it is, and and I know that if you, whether they decide to use you or they go someplace else, I mean, you've been pretty free with the information you've been given to us over the years. Absolutely, and I know you've helped a lot of a lot of our guys, and uh, you know a lot of the veterans are confused because they think again that somehow that they're in jeopardy of losing their VA benefits if they do that, and they're not. No, and, they're not. And, you know, I've got, uh, I've, I have it all. I certainly use the VA. I have my own private doctors. I certainly have Medicare, and I've got a supplement plan. Uh, it all fits pretty well together, and between them all, you get pretty good coverage for your for your medical conditions, and, and it, it's a good insurance policy in terms of a kind of a check and balance on each other. And it's nice to have those choices, Hank. It is. It is. And, and generally speaking, I find that my private doctors and my VA doctors are pretty much in sync. I mean, they may disagree about a couple of things, but they're, in, you know, in general agreement, uh, you know, what I need to do and when I need to do it. Yeah, yep. I need to get you back on again because it... You know, again, w whether you go with Scott or you go someplace else, you need to be informed about your options and what's available to you yes, and what you, you need to do to get yourself registered. Because, like you say, if you miss it, uh, you may be sitting out here with very little insurance and something happens. Um, you're or in not a, the right insurance. The right, and you're, you're in a world of hurt. Um, yep. I mean, I can tell you some of the bills we've had the last few years are in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. And I know I'd had insurance, I would have been... Uh, I would have been in the poorhouse, you know. So, listen, uh, we're just, give me, give me your number one more time, Scott. It is 352-427-0192. 
Very good. Well, give Scott a call. He'll, he'll be glad to give you some information. There's no obligation. And, uh, you know, get yourself registered into the VA. I urge that all the time. I can't tell you how many people resist me on that as well. But get registered into the VA if you qualify. But find out if you qualify and give it a shot. Um, I want to thank you. want to thank Bob Wines and my friend Larry over there at WOCA. And um, thank you, folks, for your service. And God bless America, everybody. on Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton weighing in on the unrest. Trump is calling for law and order and unity. He also told Fox News he would use stop and frisk to curb.